But the reason I stood up to speak to you, you are a man of God. You have the following. I am an actually like Jacob and I. Jacob and I know an actually like me. We belong to different clans. But I wanted to know, I came here in central Uganda when I was 16, I think, 16 or thereabout. I went to King's College, Budo. Budo is a school in Buganda. So my formative years have, has been here in central Uganda. From 1974 to this day, except for two years when I went to school in Bali, I have been here in central Uganda. If I could still go out and I could still go freely out, you most likely find me in the company of Baganda, not at Julie. Because the people I grew up with, the friends I made, are from here. When I asked, when I was nominated to become Deputy Chief Justice, Without even thinking, when I looked at the record, my character referees were all Baganda, people I'd grown up with. And I, I didn't think in terms of pride, no. It so happened that the people who would speak about me were from here. My professional referees were scattered in the country, but the character ones, it just turned out, and I didn't, I didn't even think about it. Same for when I applied to become Chief Justice. Out of three, two are Baganda. The Buganda I know, the Buganda I'm proud to associate myself with, are very welcoming people. And that's why they've assimilated all sorts of people. They are accommodating. But I am speaking today, today, and my brother, you are here. When Jacob was still alive, when he could still read his phone, He saw the wickedness that was exhibited by people who come from here. Bolanya, go back home. That why do you come to hospital here? Go back home. You should come and die here at home. Then in several fora, this social media, reason, you are the ones propping up the surgery, the dictator, those are their words. Had it not been for you, meaning Olanya's people, because, because in the elections of 2021, Olanyos people voted for Museveni. That's a fact. You are the one propping. So they demonized my brother, your brother. They continue to demonize him even in death. I ask myself, are these true Baganda? The Baganda I know, the Baganda where I grew up? Are these propaganda? I have, I'll send you some of these posts. I have defended Buganda among my people. That these people are not representing Buganda. These are wicked, wayward people who are not representing Buganda. But what pains me 
is that the propaganda like you have not spoken up to condemn this. I've not seen it anywhere. <laughs> and people are judging you by the action of evil people. I ask, I ask the question, is this politics? People do strive to push somebody into national politics. Can they do this? You will go tomorrow and see the now people will come to weep for Oranya. You think they will forget this? Where are the national leaders like King Musoka? Where are the Bidabi Salis of Buganda? Who inspired us throughout Uganda? My brothers in Buganda, let me say this. The, 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 the most contributory factor in bringing northern Uganda to its knees was that we allowed or we failed to restrain people who should not have been opinion leaders in northern Uganda to take over positions of opinion leadership. And they led us into the abyss which we are struggling to get out of. We are only now, it is our head seeing the sun rays. You see me speaking here. In the 1960s and early 70s, <clears throat> in the level of education per capita, Acholi district was only matched by East and West Mego district of Uganda. Level of education. But when we lost leadership to Lampens, to people who say this, we're now at the bottom. New boss is giving us this. So my appeal, you know, my appeal to the people of Buganda is how can you allow these lampens to be seen to be speaking for Buganda? How, how, how? The Buganda I know. How? There will be a price to pay, and they will pay me that the place I've respected, the place where I have the best friends, the place where I have the most dependable people to speak for me. I just see them sliding down. And you call it politics. This is not politics. One day, Buganda will produce a national leader and will fail to send that national leader. Forget this thing you're playing with today. That's not politics. But Buganda will produce a national leader. And we would want to go and speak about the true Buganda we know. I would want to stand up and say, I grew up in Buganda. I went on Fene caravans deep inside Buganda villages when I was a young person. But these people are not reflecting the true Buganda I know. And you've not spoken about it in the church. The political leaders coming from Buganda are not spoken up so that they are reported because they are now subdued by these opinion leaders who are taking Buganda to the abyss. That's the only reason I stood up to speak. Thank you.